Okay, so here is an Apple iPhone, a Microsoft Lumia 640 and the Samsung Galaxy S6 and I'm just going to compare the voice controls on the different things so we'll see what they do. Who won the game on Saturday? I have results from multiple leagues. Would you like to see baseball, basketball, football or hockey? Football. I don't know what you mean by photo. I have results from multiple leagues. Would you like to see baseball, basketball, football or hockey? Football. Here are the scores from the Premier League for week 37. Okay, now let's say I want to know something more specific from Siri. Did Norwich City win on Saturday? Looking for Norwich City's schedule. Norwich City did not play last Saturday. They were defeated by Arsenal on the 11th of May 2014. The final score was 2-0. So there we go. I'm going to ask the same to Cortina, or Cortina, whatever you want to call it, the Microsoft version. So I've got to press this for it to work. Who won the football on Saturday? So it's just brought up some results for like BBC Sports. I can find what I want, I guess. Did Norwich win on Saturday? So again, some like results. It's not massively helpful. Hasn't told me anything. Okay, Google. Did Norwich win on Saturday? So Google's just brought me up some results there as well. Who won the football on Saturday? So again, more Google results. So the best for kind of sports stuff uh, was the iPhone with Siri. So I'm going to try some different questions. Put a meeting in my diary for 7pm tonight. Okay, I can create your meeting. Note that you already have a meeting about youth club at 18.30. Shall I schedule it anyway? No. To continue, you can confirm, cancel, change the time, or change the title. Cancel. Okay then, I won't create the event. Okay, so Siri knows that I've got stuff on tonight already because my diary's on there because it's my normal phone. Uh, let's see what Cortana does. Put a meeting in my diary for 7 p.m. tonight. What should I call it? Meeting Fred. Sure, I'll add meeting Fred to your calendar for today at 7 p.m. Is that right? Yes. I've added it. Just so you know, you have youth club at the same time. Okay, so... Um, Cortana has reminded me of something else I put in there earlier. Uh, now I've got nothing in my Google Calendar, so Google won't have that problem. Put a meeting in my diary for 7 p.m. Well, that's just Googled it, so uh, not massively great as voice control there. I can't add something to my diary apparently. Next, I'm going to ask each one to type a message for me. Send a message. To whom shall I send this? Me. Okay, what do you want to say to Mark Tibby? Hi, how are you? Are you at the meeting this evening? Ready to send it? No. Okay, I won't send it just yet. Okay, so I can do that. I haven't quite worked out how to punctuate with Siri. It's not a natural thing. So let's try Cortana and see what Cortana comes up with. Send a message. Okay, who do you want to text? Me. All right, text me. What would you like to say? Hi, how are you? Are you at the meeting tonight? Hi, how are you? I let the meet in tonight. Send that, it, add more, or 
Start again. Start again. What was your message? Hi, how are you? Are you at the meeting tonight? I've got. Hi, how are you? Are you have a meeting tonight? Okay, okay. second time, not quite there, but quite close. Yeah. Um, so not too bad. Uh, and then I think I know what Google's going to do, but we'll give it a go anyway. Send a message. Who do you want to text? Me. Say the name of the contact you want to text or say cancel. Mark Tiddy. Mark Tiddy. What's the message? Hi, how are you? Are you at the meeting tonight? Do you want to send this? No. So I'm going to try and make a call with each of these now. Call voicemail. You don't have any voicemail messages. So that knows that already. Let's see what Cortana does. Uh, there isn't actually a SIM in this, so we'll see what happens. Call voicemail. I'm sorry, I didn't catch that. Call voicemail. So I've got to press that button again. Call voicemail. Sorry, there's no phone number for voicemail. Okay, so it's not set up, but it knows what I wanted to do, and it knows I was going to make a call. Call voicemail. So it's giving me the option to make a call there. Not massively impressive, Google, actually. Uh, so I'm going to try two more things. I'm going to try looking up some cinema listings, and I'm going to try getting some directions. What's on at the cinema? Looking. I found a few films playing today, but they're quite far from rough. So basically, my nearest cinema is about 15, 20 minutes drive away. So there we go, we've got some films there. What's on at the cinema? So some Google results, uh, or Google results, some Bing results from the Microsoft phone. What's on at the cinema? And again, cinema listings um, from Google. So finally, let's try and get some directions. Get directions to Alton Towers. Towers Resort. So Apple has loaded up maps, it's found me a route, and I think from memory it will start, or it's giving me the option Starting to start the route. route there we go. Towers Resort. So, West on Ferry Road. so Google has set me off, uh, sorry, so Apple has set me off on that route. So let's try to get some directions for Cortana. Get directions to Alton Towers. Uh, having trouble finding public transport route. Okay, drive. I don't know why I thought it was going to go public transport to start with, but that'll do. Okay, it's getting it, but slowly. There we go. And we've got my map options here as well. Get directions to Alton Towers. Alton Towers is two hours and three minutes from your location by car in light traffic. Here are your directions. So that's use of all three. I've got to say, I thought Google and Apple were going to be on par uh, with Microsoft lagging behind, but actually uh, Cortana is really good. It seems to have done most of the things that I wanted it to do. Uh, by far the most advanced is Siri, but Siri has been around the longest, so I guess that's what you'd expect. So the Apple phone comes first. I think second is the Microsoft, and then third is the Android phone, just because I didn't feel like it gave me as much information as I wanted and didn't seem to give me lots of options that I could do with my voice. Uh, I had to go back to the phone to use it. But Siri you could quite easily use to do things um, without touching the phone which I think is really useful especially when if you plug it in you can say hey Siri, Siri and it burst into life. So there you go that's just three voice control things compared um, on three different phones. Hope you enjoyed this video.